Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burks Photography and Product Shop. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply a texture and an overlay to your photo. This is the image I'm going to be working on. It's already had some adjustments made to it. The only thing left to do is just add some color um, and some light. And I'm going to do that with a texture and an overlay. So this is the texture I'll be using. It's called Celestial, and it's from the MB Galaxy Boca Texture Collection. And in this case, I'm not really going for the texture here. I really want more of just the color. So I'm going to blur this. I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And it's set to 14.1. And I think that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK and leave it at that. And <clears throat> excuse me, um, I'm going to grab my Move tool. And then just click right on the center of my texture and then drag it and drop it right onto my photo. And then here I'm going to use Control T on my keyboard just to transform this. And then hit Enter when I've got it um, the way I want it. And then I'm going to put this in Color Burn Blend Mode. And that's because I want to kind of darken it a little bit and add some color and a little contrast. Um, in this case, this is really dark and dramatic. So I'm going to lower this down to about 40% opacity. And I'm going to apply a layer mask. And in this case, I want to hide the texture from everything and just paint it where I want it. So I'm going to hide everything by inverting my layer mask or hitting Control-I. Then I'm going to grab a paintbrush and select um, a white and then paint onto the layer mask um, so that this texture gets revealed here. I'm just going to go right around the edges and avoid her and her hair and just get the outer ring of the photo. And this is just at 30% opacity, um, kind of letting go of my mouse a couple times, just painting this in where I think it looks good. And um, so I think that looks actually pretty good for this one. And so this is the before and this is the after. And then I'm going to grab the overlay now and I'll show you how to apply that one. The same um, steps apply here. Just grab your move tool, click and drag and drop it onto your photo. This one is the same size as my image, so I'm not going to need to resize this one. Um, with these, um, sorry, this is Lambent from the MB Swirl Overlays Collection. Um, and with these ones, I kind of like to leave these ones in normal mode most of the time just because I like that hazy look and it kind of gives it, you know, that natural sun-drenched glow when it's in normal mode. Um, but every, um, every image is different and you can play around with these blends, blend modes and just see what looks best for your photo. Um, in this case, I'm going to leave it at normal. I'm just going to lower my opacity to about 40%. Uh, maybe we'll do about 50%. There we go. And in this case, I'm going to leave the, this um, layer mask white. I want to show this overlay everywhere. I'm just going to paint onto it with black in the areas that I want to hide it. So I'm going to paint on here at 30% opacity just over the shadows. I'm just bringing back some of this contrast in from her hair. And on her neck to bring some of those shadows back. And then I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller and just paint onto her eyelashes and her eyebrows to bring some of that shadow back as well. And then onto her nose and lips. And you can paint um, as much shadow on as you'd like. Just kind of sweep over until you like the look. It just depends on how hazy or um, you know, contrasted you like your image. And maybe a little bit more over her eyelashes and her neck. And then I'm going to do the shadows on her guitar as well, just to make the image even. Similar shadows everywhere. OK. So that looks good so far. I think the um, only thing left to do is just take a little bit of this lightened um, overlay off the background, because I still want some of those deep, rich tones to show through. So I think that um, we'll just brush it off at about 40% opacity um, and kind of see how we like it. I think that looks pretty good. I want some of this um, darkness back here just because I kind of want it to look almost like she's sitting in a little pool of light here. Um, so just adding some shadow in the, in the background and a little in the foreground I think will help um, make it look like that a little bit more. So then you can just kind of eyeball it and just see what else needs to be touched up. And I think that looks pretty good. You might find some other shadows in the image you can um, take this off of. But all in all, I think that looks pretty good for what I was going for for this image. So this is um, before the light, and this is after the light. 
um, and you can play with your opacity here if you wanted to raise it up um, or lower it a little bit more. If you did want to raise it, um, you might have to adjust your layer mask a little bit more um, because it will probably show things that you um, didn't notice when it was at a lower opacity. So I think that's pretty much all for this photo, and that was adding a texture and an overlay. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Please let me know if you have, have any questions. You can email me at morgan at morganburks.com. Thanks so much.